Let us now move to the selection shortcuts and learn these top seven shortcuts. So the first one is basically shift and space bar. How can we go about selecting a row? The traditional way is that you can use your mouse and just click on a row which you want to select. However, the other way could be to use your shortcuts. So that would be just use shift and space bar. Let's say if I want to select this row number eight, shift and space bar. So by this you are selecting the full row. Now look at number two and number three uh, shortcuts. After selecting a row, if you want to insert a row, this is control and plus and control and minus to delete a row. So say for example, if I let me create a couple of rows here or data points. If I want to insert a row in between, I can select this row first, shift and space bar and control and plus in order to insert a row. So this is how I can go about inserting a row. Inserting a row consists of two parts. One, choose the function, choose the row, shift and space bar and then control and plus. If I want to delete a row, it's basically after you have selected the row, you can choose control and a minus sign. So this is how you can go about deleting the row. So we have looked at selecting a row, inserting a row and deleting a row. Now what about the column? So let me do the data population here in this set of columns. Control and space bar. So if I want to select this column, the shortcut is very simple control and space bar for the row you can see the difference it was shift and space bar here it is control and space bar so what if I want to insert a column just press control and plus after selecting the column and in, if I want to delete a column look at control and a minus sign so you can do that very seamlessly if you use these set of shortcuts. Sometimes I want to kind of format a full worksheet and select the entire worksheet from top to bottom, left to right at once. So this may also be a very tedious task. Sometimes you can also look at using your mouse and just selecting from the top here. So this will select the full worksheet area and you want to select the full worksheet you can just press control and A to select the full worksheet so what I was doing by clicking here using a mouse I can achieve the same thing by pressing control and A so these are the selection shortcuts which are very useful now let us look at the top eight shortcuts while we work with data the first one which is enter is very familiar when you're typing anything let's say a number you can just type it and press enter to move to the next cell so this function is very easy to understand the interesting one could be the second one in fact alt and enter so uh, insert a new line within a cell what does this mean let's say if I am typing some data let's say something like a text working with data and if I press enter now without the alt what happens is I am taken to the next cell so from cell number C13 to cell number C14 this is what happens but let's say if I want to go back and now I press alt enter what happens is it inserts a new line within a cell so this function also becomes very useful let's say I want to give I want to write eight functions here so the eight functions is written within the cell and if you just format this a bit you can see it is properly written in a text format so you can insert a new line within a cell using this let's say if I want to edit a cell in fact I use this shortcut very frequently which is F2 so I want to let's say edit the cell and write I want to delete this eight functions I can do that by double clicking in the cell and selecting this and deleting it that is what I can do However, I can also press F2. F2 is basically I want to enable the editing within the cell. So just choose any cell, press F2 and you are taken inside the cell. 
so you can do all your editing within the cell say for example again I go back to 25000 I want to edit this cell press F2 and do your editing and press enter so this is how you can use this function which is F2 which is very very simple to understand and use control C is copy and control V is paste I think the most important function would be these within the working with data class control and C I want to copy number 25 and paste it here control C once I, I, I do the copy you can see this selection area gets highlighted and what happens control and V will enable me to paste the content so control and V the moment I do that the same content gets pasted in the selected cell so I want to paste it here control and V so control C control V what is the difference between control C and control X cut the selected text or object to the clipboard so let's say now I'm pressing control X to understand what is cut control and X now let me paste it here and see what happens control and V is for the paste so what happens is it gets cut from the original location and it gets pasted to the new location so very helpful command if you don't want to duplicate the content like this you can just control X cut and control V which is paste this is how you can really work control and Y which means repeat the last action okay so let me show you here let's say the last action is I've chosen this number 25 and I have made this in blue font so this is my last action so if I want to redo the same thing for this new number 25 I may do it from here or I can use this shortcut called control Y so let me do it control and Y the moment I press this control Y the last action gets repeated again I can do the same thing for this 25 control and Y so repeat the last action and very important function again control and Z undo the last edit so if I have let's say edited these in blue and if I want to undo it what can I do I can I can actually use this from the top which is the undo font or undo button so I can press these or I can use the shortcut which is control and Z or control Z control Z if I do for the first time the most recent will get undone if I press control Z again the second last one will get undone and so on and so forth control Z is to undo the last edit very helpful function so these are the top 8 functions for the working with data shortcuts I hope you remember these here we will learn the top 3 formula shortcuts one is if I want to write the formula I can actually go at the top and start insert function so I can do that and equal to sign comes by default so this is how a formula can be written in a traditional way however if I want to begin a formula I can just type equal to and start typing the formula so though many of you may use it by default it is again a very important shortcut the other thing is let's say if I want to cancel an entry which I am making in the cell say for example I am writing something like this formula shortcuts and I have not yet pressed enter so I want to cancel an entry I don't want to write this so there are two approaches I can press enter and then go back and delete it this is what I can do or let's say if I am writing this formula shortcuts and if I am not yet pressed enter I can actually press an escape button ESC at the top left hand corner of your keyboard escape so whatever I have made in terms of the entry that will go away this is a very useful function the second function here was the all than equal to so insert a sum auto sum formula so it's very again uh, very very useful let's say if I want to sum total this series here 4 5 6 and 3 now I can do this in a very traditional way I can actually use go at the top and choose this auto sum okay so the moment I do this the formula bar will come and 
I just need to press enter so the sum total will be 18. The second approach is I can go back and press equal to and a sum bracket open and choose this range and close the bracket so again the sum total would be 18 or the third approach which is more effective is choosing a alt equal to sign so alt equal to sign would mean doing an auto sum in a much more efficient way I don't have to actually use a mouse to click on auto sum I can immediately do that using my keyboard so very efficient function here so overall if you have looked at you know in this set of video series we have learned around 44 most important basic excel functions I hope you try to make the most of it all the very best